everyone. John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to the first calls and coffees of summer. At least it is to me because Saturday's off school and that means when Saturday's off school it is summer. So this is the first calls and coffee of summer. It looks like a really good day. Beautiful sunny day. Everyone's in t-shirts and shorts. Yeah. And of course the dogs are out as well. Ah, cool. Subaru Club. We're just taking his dump. That's good, might as well get out of the way. This is a really nice Land, Land Rover. It's got, it's got a roll cage on its top too. Yeah. Green, very green, very green, exactly. Check this out. This is a supercharged Z06. C6 generation. So he's got ah, nice engine work there. Look at that. Now there's a supercharger right there. A Synthix supercharger. And he's got going forward, probably underneath there's an intercooler. Nice. Tasteful amount of chrome. Very well done. What? Yeah. Long face. Yeah. Nissan 370, also known as the Fair Lady Z in Japan. A Subaru with a full license plate. I'm not sure if he's referring to you or referring to himself or buying it. Slam BMW. Yep, uh huh. You ain't going over any speed bump. <laughs> hey, you're not being towed, too. <laughs> oh, there's that furry dog. The coolest dog. That's the coolest dog I've ever seen. The dogs are out in full force, too. That's a nice looking dog. And speaking of dog, look at this one. Sorry, look at that little hot dog, Sally. <laughs> Check it out. A dog that's actually smaller than widget. I can't believe it. All right, the engine's in the wrong way. The engine's in the back. Oh, this is a, this is a, what is it? This is, I think this is a Mini. Cool. Okay, let's see what this is. It's got louvers on the hood, which is kind of useless since there's no engine in the front. Okay, this is a Volkswagen. Wow, even with European plates too. <laughs> I'm not sure what car this is. If you guys know what car this is, uh, let me know. A good amount of vintage uh, older cars today, like uh, this Toyota is a nice uh, Lotus Elise. And, and, and what is that? That's the weirdest convertible I've ever seen. But what is it? That, it's, a, it's a Honda. It's a Honda. Eh? It's a uh, very, very, it's actually smaller than a little at least, that's how small it is. And it's right hand drive. Yeah. Daddy, 65 Buick. How, how do you know this is a 65 Buick? Oh, okay. Yeah, 65 Buick. Nice. Good. I, I, I don't know what Honda this is. It, again, uh, if you know what Honda this is, uh, let me know. But convertible that's smaller than a, smaller than the lease. Oh, wow. This thing is back again. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, wait, there's another one. Oh, wow, yeah, there's uh, quite a few today. But this is, this is beautiful. It's amazing. Let me let, let me get some nice shots of this thing.
Yeah, see? This one's a, you can sit in the back, Sally. It's like cool. The, uh, hey. Jump seat. You can sit back there. It's kind of cool. And it's convertible, too. <laughs> just, you can tell like uh, Widget is, Widget is hot. He just, every time he finds a car in the shade, he just stands under the shade. Oh, okay. That's a, oh no, he's just sitting down. <laughs> okay. He doesn't want to move. He doesn't want to move. You notice something missing? Handles. Door handles. You have to jump over. You have to jump over? No, it's, 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 it's shaved, but you know. <laughs> yeah, you have to jump yeah. over. It's the only way. Yeah, shaved door handles. Now, I suspect, no, it's not. If, it was really cool, it would be suicide doors. Punch, punch buggy. buggy! No, I beat you to it. No, I beat you. No, I beat you. I said punch buggy first. Grand National, a T to a T type. Black and mean, Darth Vader's car. Ah, ah look, Corvette Grand Sport with the Grand Sport stripe. Oh, so look, here's a vintage Pamel Z28. Yes, there's a the classic right here. Yeah. Wow, look at that interior, fully restored. Huh? Bra. <laughs> That's right. A vintage Corvette with a bra. <laughs> a Z06 with chrome wheels. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not big on chrome wheels. Silver's okay. Or black. There's a, this model Pantera. Very nice. Uh, Sally, punch buggy. Right there. This thing. Uh, <laughs> I saw it right here. This is a uh, this uh, shagging wagon. <laughs> I don't know. Looks like it's been ridden with bullet holes. What in the world? Man, is this an original? Oh my God! It actually has an aluminum body. It's not fiberglass. Wow, this might be real. Which is that, Dad? It's so rough. Okay, no, it's uh, yeah, it's a, it's a replica, but it's a replica based on a real aluminum Cobra body. This is a 427 Corvette convertible. It's basically a Z06 motor and a convertible. Seven liter. And then over here, it's uh, the four cam Lotus V8 that was made in this old ZR1. Look at this, Sally. This is a, a, C, a C5 Corvette uh, with a body kit to make it a little more of a vintage Corvette. Uh, why do you have tea? I don't know. Well, that's, I don't know. <laughs> and, oh, there's a vintage bathtub Porsche, Sally. Yeah, Porsche sure were cheap back then. Only 4400 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hot rod. Look, it's got, look at the suspension springs in the front. It's a uh, death trap. And the huge, humongous tires in the back. And the tunnel ram. It's a Ferrari 512. I haven't seen one of these. What is this? This, this is a Datsun 2, 240, have you? It's like a bug. Yeah, or two, yeah. But look, this is a Ferrari 512. Check it out. If I recall, this was, you know, this was a dream Ferrari when I was growing up.
So it's called boxer because the pistons are in uh, kind of like in a line in a boxing against each other. So hence the name, the Ferrari 512 Boxster. All right, motorcycles are welcome at Cars and Coffee. Ah, oh, that's a cute. That's got to be the smallest Range Rover SUV you've ever seen, Sally. So what do you think of this? So what do you think of this? It's weird. It's weird. That's kind of cute. Huh? It looks nice. I like it. All the exotic cars are gone. All we have now is uh, the owner's cars. Uh, even the organizer of cars and coffee is gone. What happened? Maybe he skipped out on the first cars and coffees of summer. But all we have here is a McLaren MP412C. What happened? And yeah, exotic car row has. Oh, wait, there's a few up there, Sally. There are a 396 Chevelle, a Ford GT, and oh, check this out the Ferrari. 488 the replacement for the Italia more powerful faster uh, well maybe not necessarily better looking but not necessarily worse either and this is the Convertible edition too. It's a hard top convertible. The top comes off. Uh, uh, I love the exhaust going right out the back there. Beautifully done. However, the only styling thing I don't like about uh, the 488 is right here. This thing. It's, it's like it's like an afterthought. I mean, it, it stands out like a sore thumb. It should not be there. I mean, that's just. I, it totally ruins the look of the door. If, otherwise than that, it's a, they did a good job. Look, another another dog, Hudson Hornet, Sally. What? Hey, and a bunch of neighbors too. <laughs> it's a Scooby-Doo van. Hey, it's, it's slower than normal. It's slammed too. It's so low. Sally, punch buggy. That's a dune buggy. That's a, that's a punch buggy still. That is weird, weird, weird. I'm not sure if the front's low because they're in the front just weighing the car down or if it's on hydraulics. <laughs> I think it's the weight of them on the front is the reason why it's so low. Yeah, because the back, it looks lifted. <laughs> yeah. Look at the backside, slow moving. Yeah, it's a slow moving vehicle. All right, look at this view, Riviera with the flame gel. Nice. Let's play for this, what is it? Hug a thug. Hug a thug. <laughs> okay, cool. Look, another MT, uh, another one of those uh, customized basin Corvette body. Okay, I, I, I don't know what happened to all the exotic car and exotic car road. They must have left early, including the owners of the car, including the, uh, the founder, uh, the, the uh, organizer of Cars and Coffee, but still a good show. Oh, there you go. I want to show you one last vehicle. That's really, really cool. This is the Austin Martin Lagonda. Austin Martin Lagonda. Yeah, it's a Lagonda. It's a four-door Austin Martin that basically started the boxy trend that Volvo copied. It looks like a box. And there's Widget again. He's instant. We get we get in the shade. He's he's covered up. And you know, at least Widget, you're hiding under a nice vintage Porsche. Smart dog.